Warning, this content is not for kids. If you're a kid, f*** off. I'm going to teach you some knots today, boys and girls. Here is a timber hitch, right? So we're going to wrap around there, double it back, and then I'm just going to wrap it around as many times as we can. The more the merrier. and then pull this end so we just doubled it over itself and then wrapped it around that's it that's a timber hitch that's what we use for dragging heavy logs so we don't have to waste any calories or burn any calories trying to carry the thing and that's also the knot that you use for lashing wood together but we'll, we'll get to that in a minute right now we're taking this to camp I like that section from there to there. Get rid of them, get rid of them, 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 them. Right, I need two hands to do this. Oh, even better. Even better. Sweet, now we just need another 20 of these. Awesome. Here's my wee seat. I'm really only using these bits. Because I've only got a wee skinny ass, but if these were longer, 
twice the size of that even then there we have a raised bed to sleep on so you don't have the the ground sucking all the heat out of you because the ground will suck the heat out of you instantly but this raised bed bit or the raised seat if you will you can have a wee fire there and the heat will get underneath it and toast your bits get some toasty bits I'm not going to bother lashing any of this down He's moaning because he knows it's snack time. I opened the beer, did I? I opened the beer. And you could jog on you be bloody sell out. There was a guy. <laughs> Bless him. Alan had wandered off, but way down there, the guy didn't know I was camping up here. So he's bending down and he's checking Alan's collar. He's clearly looking for contact details and stuff because he thought Alan was lost. And then he heard the whistle and looked for me. Well, he saw me after I whistled and he's like, oh, it's she with you? <laughs> like, yeah, that little sellout is with me. Bloody sellout. You stay there, gloves are there, you my junkie bashers, eh? <laughs> bash, 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 there you go you be junkie. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, it's meant to be minus six tonight. Minus six. I'm going to be very conservative as much as I possibly can with my batteries, because the, the original battery that was in here, was dead, man, GoPro do not like the cold. It'd been charged two days ago for today and it was dead when I put it on to record earlier so uh, I'm down to two batteries instead of four I fell out with him the past few days see that bite there? that plaster not that one, I did that one this morning but that one he scraped the skin on my knuckle because the little cunt I'd stood up off my seat in the house and Instantly he jumped on the seat to get the hot spot and then I sat down again I didn't know he was there so I squished him and he growled at me for squishing So I tried to scoop my hands underneath him to lift him off the seat and as soon as I did that He fucking snapped at me, didn't ya? You? you got grounded two days ago, did you? You've been well in the bad books, yeah Who did that? Who did that? Prick he instantly knew what he did and took himself to his cage. He knew. You knew you took it too far, did you? Grumpy old man. Just like your dad. Just like your dad. Yeah, I'm just going to chill out and enjoy the moment then. I'm rambling. I'm talking shite. This is all filler. I'll probably delete it all. <laughs> you don't need to know this, but the sun's still out. We've got daylight in the video again. Oh, let me quickly show you. They're still harvesting all this wood and one of the workers, she stopped her truck, well, <laughs> reversed back when she saw us and then tried to give us the whole, yeah, there's people working here, don't go anywhere near them. Like I'm a fucking child. Go watch my YouTube videos, missus. You'll see that I've been here the whole time you guys have been here and you never found me. Well, you did find me, sorry, that was a lie, you found me <laughs> over there. Wind's coming from that direction, that's why that's there. Because usually it would have it on that side to create more privacy. So I'm just going to have to take a poop in front of everybody tomorrow morning. <laughs> Let's make a loop. Just one loop there, Alan, I'm not talking to you. This is called the live end, right? We're going to take this loop over this branch and then we're going to take not the live end and make another loop through this loop we're already holding oh, give me that I'm going to pull this tighter slightly tighter the live end make another loop and feed it through that loop there a couple of loops and then pull 
So it should look something like that. That will be holding your tarp up or something. And then to release it, you just take the live end and pull. That's a quick release knot. I'll quickly show you that again. Make a loop. There's your live end. Hang it over what you want to secure it to. Grab not the live end. Now grab the live end so you could pull the, the loop closed. And then with the live end create another loop going through the loop you've already made. Pull the not live end. And there you go. Nice and secure. And to release it, bop, quick release. This is a good knot for securing heavy loads. So we'll take our length of cord, we're just doubling it up now. Go over and feed it through. Just like that. Nothing is breaking that. And then this end, your two live ends, we'll just tie a knot in that. Or that could be tied to whatever it is you're trying to secure, hanging bergens from trees, heavy things. Nothing is breaking that. That's called a Prusik knot. P-R-U-S-I-K, I think. Something like that. And the last one that I'm going to show you just now, because three is cool, is it? You only need to know three at a time. Let's not overdo it bombard you. So this is the knot we used earlier to half the timber. It's a timber knot so a timber hitch sorry. Double it over itself, wrap it around on itself and then just double it. Double it under and just keep wrapping it under as many times as you possibly can. Stay there. Right, let's just imagine that I've wrapped that under until there was no loose end. And then you just pull on it. That's a timber hitch. And then to get it off, you just stop putting any pressure on it. And it comes off itself. Right, one more time quickly. Wrap it over the log, double it over itself, like that, and then just feed it through, over and over and over again. Pull it, and there you go, that's your timber hitch. So that, boys and girls, is three knots. Probably the only three knots you'll ever need. Well, except from the one that you use to tie your shoelaces. That's called a hitch as well. A hitch and a bow. And when you double knot it, that's a double hitch. You just learnt the name of the knot you tie your shoelaces with. I've cut out a square of that turf. That's sitting there. And now that's where the bun box is going to live. That's all my twigs for light, heat, and heat, heat. You know the score. The skinny stuff gives you light, and it you use the skinny stuff, skinny stuff to start the fire, and then you use that later on to give you more light. The thicker it is, the more heat you get from it. This guy. He's flying up and down there, getting his job done. He's collecting what's left of all the pre-chopped logs and he's shipping them up there. It's crazy, this is what's left of everything, eh? Now, if only we had 
Yes. The ways and means to take these big ass logs, man. We could be building cabins over there. If only, man. All this is pine. The whole forest is pine. If you've got an OS Explorer map, you'll see there's three main, well, three big ass oak trees. And they're dotted on this, one of them's next to the ice house. Well, the closest one is next to the ice house. That's how cool OS Explorer maps are. They've got every fence post and they, up, they get updated every seven years. What was it saying? Oh yeah. So they'll have to update this now. Half this forest is being cleared. In fact, I have the map for this area. I can point out now on the map what does not exist anymore. It's kind of looking for logs of a similar size to the ones that we got earlier. I'm trying to make a windbreak. There's a camp down there. Looks good, does it? He's very noisy. And over there, over there is the dugout that we did a few videos back. Yeah, it looks like it's caved in a bit. Fell in a bit. Maybe that'll explain why some bird has been eaten by a bigger bird. Yeah, it's caved in in there. That's cool though. That's cool. Alan, this way, mate. Get a sniff of this. Tell me what that used to be. Clearly a pigeon. But what ate it? There's sea eagle here, there's kestrels here, there's, man, there's everything. There's all the Scottish birds of prey. No going to lie, boys and girls, it's getting a bit chilly now. This minus six degrees that we've got coming once the sun goes away, I can feel it. I'm already wearing my warm kit. I've been wearing my warm kit for about an hour now. In fact, that's the reason that we're going for a wander. It's too cold. <laughs> it's camp there. It's too cold to just sit around, man. It's too cold. Welcome to Scotland. He's guarding the sausage rolls. <laughs> Let me just move my beer. Can I put my beer there? Yeah. What I'm doing now is I'm just getting rid of all the dry pine needles and I'm sticking them under here. I'm going to pile that up so that's an extra wee bit insulation. But here we have a heat reflector wall. The wind's coming from this direction. That's why the tarp's like that. That should reflect the heat from the burn box into the tent and this sitting area but it also it'll disguise the the light anybody walking dogs anywhere in that distance that'll hide the light from the burn box well mind you by the time i've got that lit up there won't be any dog walkers anyway and if there is they'll have head torches on and i'll see them coming so i'll just head towards them to stop them coming towards me but yeah there we go get another length of wood just to seal that off because the OCD is three logs there and two logs there it's annoying me man <laughs> you can see I've stuffed the gaps with moss there's no wind coming this way anyway but that'll still help reflect the heat I'll just have to keep an eye on it so no stray sparks because that's quite dry, that moss. I don't want that catching fire and then in turn setting these bloody logs on fire while I sleep. No sir, we. Right, I'll give you a sausage roll. 
I'll give you a sausage roll, Alan. He's already eaten seven of them. Do you know the deal, though? I have to have the first bite. Bloody test. Let me quickly show you this. Well, we still have a bit of daylight. Um, it's too reflective. That's Morton Locks. So remember, everything behind the locks harvested. Everything about that much harvested. Harvested, harvested, harvested. I've not been doing this end yet, so I've not quite seen how far they've got into that, but and then it's just paths going through. Yeah, boys and girls, this, this map needs updated. Now, look how luscious and green that whole area is. Doesn't look like that anymore. Right, where are we then? Keen viewers, you'll know where we are on this map. That's where we used to be. Oops, sorry there. I keep forgetting to look through the viewfinder, Franco. Yeah, that was the the little balcony spot that we did with Jag. The heat reflector's working well. Of course it is, because that's why he's sitting right there. Eh? You look like a log because you stayed very still. Yeah. There's a nice amount of heat reflecting back at me, so hopefully it's a nice amount of heat reflecting into the tent as well. I've kept the tent open to trap that heat. You could definitely, <laughs> you could definitely see my breath. That's for sure. Minus six tonight, boys and girls. This is the tester. Separate the men from the boys. It's cozy in there, man. It's cozy in there. Which is just as well for the temperature. It really is cold now. Like, man, it's cold on this side of the heat reflector there's my empty beers there's my last beer waiting to be emptied and then it's food o'clock because every time is no every time's beer o'clock shut up man right i'm gonna enjoy this i'll get back to you guys when i'm cooking or before then i don't know boys and girls that's me inside my sleeping bag liner he's chewing his feet like he does I'm about to climb inside my bivy bag inside the sleeping bag inside the bivy bag which has got self inflating mat and the foil mat in there as well I'm just enjoying this fire while it goes out while that dies out I'm gonna just chill and so, if this video doesn't get uploaded, then you know I died of the cold. And if it did get uploaded, then you know I survived the cold. There's enough heat getting reflected from there over to here. Yeah, I think we're good for now. We're good for now. Then, see you in the morning. I don't want to get up. It's too toasty. Are you awake? How did you sleep last night? Hey, how did you sleep last night? Hey. Right, don't jump on my balls. Dickhead.
Oh, good morning. Well, you can see my breath. Oh man, good else. Take cover. That'll be minus six still then. Look at the steam coming up. <laughs> Mate, I can see the steam coming off of you. Right, I'm going to get uh, boots and brew on. Boots and brew. Holy oh, shit. I thought it was just going to be the top layer, but well it is the top layer, but it's very thick. <laughs> Sorry Alan. Come out. Your water's frozen. Um, it's no moving. <laughs> Usually the, the the frozen disc comes off the top, does it? Right, we'll leave that in the sun. I'll put more water in that actually, mate. And then that'll melt the top layer of that ice. Because the water in the bottle will be warmer than that. There we go. Camp Kent. This was home for last night. All your creature comforts supplied by the resident creatures. <laughs> little shit. Little shit. Little shit. Um, yeah. Okay. They're wrapped in cling just in case the weather gets to them. Heat reflector did well last night. I burnt it a wee bit when the flames got a bit ferocious. But it's done its job. It served its purpose, Alan, did it? it? Served its purpose. It was toasty. I tell you, this jet boil coffee plunger is probably the best 20 quid I've ever spent. Ever. What a game changer. Because instant coffee is just instant bullshit, is it? Doesn't it cut the mustard? But this stuff, man. The good gear that makes you fucking grind your teeth. That'll wake you up in the morning. That'll separate the men from the boys. Right, Alan, would you care for another sausage? Spoilt wee man, so you are. This was his tea for last night, but he ended up eating most of mine. I was too full, my eyes were bigger than my belly last night. That was Alan's water, man.
sorted. And just like that, it's like we were never there. Well, except for that and that. Let's just move this. That was my pole for holding up the tap in the center. We've only footprints, take nothing but memories. But this is an official spot. We'll be coming back here, just like the balcony spot before it all got torn down. And was going to lash all them together, but I'd be unlashing them this morning to take my paracord back. I don't want to leave all the good gear here. Right, we're done. The plan was to stay two nights. I have enough supplies for two nights. But I don't have enough phone battery for two nights. And as fun as it would be, in an emergency situation, I'm going to need battery power on the phone. So next investment is a portable charger. Man, I've had so many of them over the years, they don't last. Where'd that wee dick go? Oh, I can see him. I can see him. Well, boys and girls, as always, thanks for tuning in, you beautiful humans. Thanks for hitting the like button. Big thanks to all the subscribers. I've noticed that the subscribers are watching more than the non-subscribers are. It used to be the other way about. Anyway, civilians, see you in the comments. There's a voice that keeps on calling me Down the road, that's where Alan will pee Every stop he makes, he licks some piss And then he pisses on some piss, turns around and he's gone again Never work with kids and animals, man <laughs>